Hey, this video is specifically for all my startup founders and product manager friends who have got great ideas, great vision, want to do amazing things, but have too many things to do, are always overwhelmed, always stressed, and close to burnout. As an ex-product manager and current startup founder, these tools save my life every day. So let's dive in. So you know, like building a product, the most critical part that every single successful entrepreneur tells you is like talking to your customers. But talking to customers is hard. They don't wanna jump on a call. Even if they say they're gonna jump on a call, they don't show up. Creating a survey and figuring out the right questions to ask is really hard. And even if you get all those responses, like going through all the data, takes a lot of time. So there's this tool called Craftful that kind of saves a lot of these problems. If you don't have any customer data, you can use Craftful to sort of create a survey. But this is not like any survey like Google Form or like SurveyMonkey or whatnot. All you gotta do is like start a new survey and like, you know, put in a product name and just pick one question to start off with. Of course, you can add more questions if you want, but I'll say just start with one because when you save the survey and you publish the survey and a user starts taking the survey, it's gonna automatically follow up with the questions based on the user response. It's a trained UX engineer who knows what questions to ask to really dig deep into what user insights are and how people were actually using the product. For example, here I have a simple survey on like, you know, what's been your experience with Prompt Genie? Based on however many questions you have in your survey, once the user answers those, it's gonna start doing the follow-up question. So my second question here is like, how would you rate the quality of the prompts generated? So now when I launch the survey and like, you know, let's say I'm just gonna take this as an example, what's your experience with Prompt Genie? I just say I really like using it, makes my chat GPT results better. And the second question which I added is how would you rate the quality of the prompts generated? So I just say, you know, nine out of 10. And now instead of me trying to like, you know, create the surveys, trying to figure out the right questions to ask, it's gonna start asking a follow-up questions to dig deeper into the user insights. So now here, the first follow-up question we have is like, what specific features of Prompt Genie do you find most beneficial in improving your chat GPT results? So here I'm just gonna say yeah, amplifier algorithm. And now it's gonna follow up to to get more details. Can you describe a situation where AI Amplifier algorithm significantly enhance your interaction with ChatGPT? Now I type my answer. Now it's gonna to try to follow up a question based on my response again. Could you elaborate on how AI Amplifier algorithm helped you with the content plan? What was the outcome compared to not using Prompt Genie? So now we're trying to like identify like how did the product added value versus when we didn't use a product and so on and so forth. The only complaint I have is like, I wish there was a way to like shorten the questions or like, you know, limit how many questions I can ask because I can feel like maybe people will get overwhelmed with like just follow up questions and they don't know when this is gonna end. So if there's like a way of telling people when this is gonna end, I think that would make this like even better. But so far, I feel like just kind of like interviewing the customers on autopilot, it's a good tool to test out. This is for creating surveys, but you have the survey data. You have like a whole bunch of data. You have data on Pando, G2, Trustpilot. You have like Zenda stuff. This tool can also help you analyze all the data by bringing in all those data sources together. So you can bring all your reviews, your feedback, your customer support stuff into a single knowledge base. And the tool can also help you get some analysis on your data based on sentiment or pains and gains people are feeling when they're using the product. So again, you know, as product manager, as a startup founder, like figuring out what people like and don't like is really important. And this tool is trying to help us do that faster. All right, speaking of people liking and not liking, the interaction on a website or the web application, I like using Microsoft Clarity. So Microsoft Clarity is like a free version of Hotjar. Like it's by Microsoft, it's completely free. So you know, like you can do all the basic stuff. You can look at how people are using your website, like any errors and stuff, the loading time and all that stuff. We get the heat maps of where people are scrolling, where they're clicking, we get a scroll depth, we get a session recordings. But again, looking at all the data is overwhelming. You know, we can look at the heat maps. Sure, we can understand what is going on, but going through all those session recordings, figuring out what people are even doing, that takes a lot of time. And that's the whole challenge. We don't have time. What I really like about Clarity is that uh, you can summarize all that with AI. So let's say I have like this heat map for Prompt Genie again, and I can just click on, you know, summarize the heat map. Now I have insights from the heat map. It's telling me the user behavior that uh, on the mobile user, like there's a first click and last click really high on generate prompt feature. On the desktop version, get started for free is pretty popular. And for tablet people are pretty much kind of like mostly interested in pricing, which is kind of odd, but anyway, it is what it is. And then some takeaways are to improve my error clicks on the generate prompt feature, because it's gonna help me significantly increase my conversion rate and also to like highlight my pricing a little bit. So the people who are looking for that could get that rather quickly. That's great. And likewise, for all the session recordings, I can either pick the top 10, I can handpick the custom recordings, which I think are more impactful. And I can ask it to summarize the insights. Instead of me spending an hour spying on my users, 
users, see how where they click and how they're using. It's just giving me what I need to know. It's giving me the successful achievements, the inaccessible attempts, and takeaways. Interesting that I didn't know that people would be encountering there's a JavaScript error here. So now I can just take a screenshot and I can send it to my team to look and investigate further. So as a founder, as a product manager, super useful to figure out how I can improve my product because better product, happy users. Happy users, more revenue. So yeah, this is Microsoft Clarity. It's free, so like, why shouldn't we use it, right? All right, moving on. As a founder, as a product manager, we're going to have to work with the design team and engineering team. Sometimes we have ideas and we want to communicate that to the design team. We kind of want to prototype it, but that takes time. We don't want to spend time in Figma from scratch building something up. So I like using wizard spelled with UI. Fun fact, I was recently bought by Miro, which is interesting. Anyway, so all we got to do is like just type in what project we want to build, mobile, desktop, tablet, and then it's going to help us brainstorm some ideas for the design. Again, this is not like something crazy or whatnot, but it's really helping us sort of like create that initial wireframe, high fidelity prototype sort of thing. So we can talk to the engineering team to, you know, like maybe discuss the road mapping or like, you know, the sprint planning or the design team to sort of communicate what we're trying to build here. So they have more insights on what's going on here. So it's really useful for that aspect of things where we can quickly have like a whole design and multiple screens. This is on the free plan. So some of the screens are locked here, but depending on your budget and appetite and how useful the screens are, you can like, you know, we can get on the paid plan to unlock it. But you kind of get an idea of like, what sort of workflow and stuff you can do. So that way, if you're building an application, you can sort of quickly map out all the different screens, the interactivity and like build your user stories and whatnot. And like a fun secret shortcut is like, if you take a screenshot of the design and you use a Kodia plugin in Figma, we can take the design screenshot and make it as an editable project in Figma. So we can then further customize with the design team to sort of like refine the design that we wanna build based on our ideas and stuff. So there we have it, three tools, one for serving the users and also analyze all the sentiment analysis we're getting across different platforms. The second to sort of like figuring out how people are using a product so we can improve it. And third to like take our idea and like start prototyping it like off the bat in 30 seconds. I hope you like this video. And if so, like leave a thumbs up. It's just a dopamine rush that keeps me going. Subscribe to the channel for more AI tools and automation stuff. I hope this video inspired you, like, you know, sparks some creativity and hopefully gonna help you be more productive. I'll see you in the next videos.